The LCD panel on this HP TouchSmart notebook has failed and no longer displays a picture. With the notebook turned off, start the repair by turning the notebook over and remove the battery by sliding the locks to the off position and pulling the battery out. Return the notebook to a normal operating position and open the display. The plastic bezel is formed by the joining of two plastic shells held by plastic tabs. We are going to separate the joined plastic shells using a plastic spudger tool to create a purchase point into the enclosure. Carefully, separate the two pieces working your way slowly across the top and sides of the display as shown. Carefully remove the black plastic shell and set it to the side. We have a total of six screws to remove, three screws on each side of the display, four connectors to loosen and remove, a web camera that must be moved, and some tape to deal with. Let's get started. First, remove this tape strip which is used to retain the wireless antenna. This black piece of tape may not be present, but we need to remove it to dislodge the camera. Carefully pry the web camera which is retained by adhesive, minding the cable which is stowed between some plastic retention brackets. Using our plastic spudger tool, gently slide it under the web camera cable to free it from the back of the LCD display while gently pulling up on the cable. Again using the spudger tool, push on either side of the main display connector to free it. Very carefully, lift the plastic locking bars on both of the zero insertion force connectors found on the board used to drive the digitizer panel for the touch display. Do not break these and remove the ribbons as shown. The last cable that needs removed here is the power cable for the digitizer board. Push on the sides and gently pull on it to remove. This PCB board is held on with light adhesive and will need to be carefully lifted and transferred to your new LCD if you want to maintain the touch capability of the notebook. Secure it on the new display with some clear tape. Now we can remove the three screws found on the side of the display making sure that we do not damage the cable to the wireless antenna. The other side has no cables that need attention, simply remove the three screws. Now there is nothing holding the LCD panel in place. Use your hands at the top of the display where the web camera was situated and pull up on the LCD to allow you to remove it from the assembly. On the new display, be sure to remove any protective film that may exist. Follow the steps in reverse to reassemble and with a little luck, you should once again have a fully functional display. Thanks for watching. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to receive notification of future content.